sucker at the yes and me to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old ones gone under the night. And I can feel good morning from Baguio. So it's another day to explore this beautiful city and um, one thing that i really want to put out there is that if you want to come here during a festive season like i'm doing right now you may want to consider traffic one <laughs> there's a lot of traffic especially in the touristy areas I'm currently trying to go out and there is a lot of traffic here you know i'm going to a touristy area obviously and you know traffic is like so much in this city right now i don't know how it is you know off season i've not been here off season so i can't really speak on that another challenge i've had while here is booking grabs you know it's always hard to get a grab like this morning getting a grab from my hotel i've spent almost one hour trying to order a ride and my hotel is not a touristy place right so it's like it's not congested it's even worse when you go out getting a grab to like leave the tourist attraction is like the hardest thing so please be prepared for that there were many days or let me say two days not many days twice when i was out you know trying to see go from place to place and i just got so exhausted trying to get a grab from one location to another and i ended up just going back to the hotel so you may have seen that in my previous videos when i plan to go to several places and i end up just going to one or two if you can if it's something you're able to do you can hire a car for the period you're here it's going to save you a whole lot of stress even though yeah you're going to be stuck in traffic and all maybe you even like have a hard time finding parking that's another challenge you know it's 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 not all glamorous you know you're gonna encounter some setbacks here and there but just find what really works the best for you but from my own experience here in Baguio the two things the number one thing will be getting a grab to be honest that is the number one challenge I've had and then traffic traffic is not a new thing I mean it's 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 expected you know when you're in a touristy place festive season and all but the grab aspect is one that <laughs> really affected my going out a whole lot while I was here. So you may want to consider how you can, you know, manage that challenge when you're planning to come here during the festive period. And I am going to come back during another festive period. And I've been told that that period is even more populated than Christmas and more people come to Baguio during that time than Christmas and that is in February. I want to be back here for the flower festival and all and I have, I've heard that Baguio is more full <laughs> that period than it is right now in, during Christmas. Okay so I want to go to Botanical Garden. I've been there before on Christmas Day. I attempted to go there but the queue to go in was so long. We're queuing in the sun and I was like okay let me go back to the hotel and then you know check it out some other time. So I'm going back there today. I hope it's not as crowded even if it is i'm gonna stay and you know stay on the queue even if we are 1000 i'm gonna do it today because this is like my last day to really come to the botanical garden and i don't want to miss it you know so let's let's go there so let me know how have you enjoyed my baggy vlogs thus far let me know in the comments if you've seen my previous videos i have like three videos before this one or four you know if you've do check out my channel check out the previous videos i've done on baguio i did christmas day in baguio i've been to burnham park i've been to the night market um i've been to wright park been to the mansion um where else yeah just check out my previous videos and if you're new to the channel you're so welcome my name is jackie please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing vlogs from the philippines so i don't just vlog baguio i'm just here for the christmas holiday i live in manila the goal is to travel around the philippines and showing you all about the people the food the culture the places the beaches everything that the philippines has to offer so do subscribe to the channel and consider turning on the notification bell so every time i post a new vlog you'll be notified and you get to watch it thank you so much for the support please give the video a like and keep watching wow this is a botanical garden there's a crowd already how are we gonna do this
Wow, how long am I gonna stay in this queue? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see what we can do. And we're actually queuing in the sun. That's another thing, like just standing in the sun. Oh dear. The queue continues. This is where it ends. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna go join the queue. I just have to do it, you know. I just have to. So let's see how that goes. This is 1046. 1046. So I'm gonna see how long it'll take me to get inside. The queue is so long. I hope it moves fast. So this is how it was Christmas Day and I just left. <laughs> but I can't afford to leave today because it's my last day to explore Baguio. So I'm going to stay here. So 30 minutes later, we are in and trust me, <laughs> it is worth the wait from what I can see from here. This is a beautiful view already. Wow. All right, so let's explore the botanical garden here in Baguio City. I don't want to use the stairs. <laughs> That's why I'm going around. This is beautiful and clean. Looks very well maintained. Baguio Botanical Garden. Centennial Garden. Okay. So this is the first part of call where people come take pictures. Beautiful. All right. So that's the way in, but let's go around. I just love to see everything. So this is a police assistance center for tourists. So if you need any assistance, they got you. All right. So I expect to see beauty here, the beauty of nature. Oh, look at this. Why is it hidden? That is a very beautiful work of art. beautiful let's see what is here this looks like a shop are these for sale okay yeah it's written there sale self-service to buy messages on Facebook and IG okay so this is a self-service shop so you come here choose what you want the prices are here they have the prices written. This is 380, 380. All the prices are here. So if you want anything from this shop, <laughs> you message them on IG. They have a Gcash, you know, account where you make your payment and pick up your product. So we have really honest people here in the Philippines. This is 150. And there's a good view from here. You get to see like most of the garden. Well, I don't know, till I go down. <laughs> but this is a very good view from here. So this whole section here is where you can buy the plants that you need. I can see aloe vera, cactus. I don't know the names of the rest. <laughs> they are beautiful. And I think the price is, is okay. Like this is 180. This is 380. Um, let's see. 180. 280. Yeah, I think that's that's cool. All right, so let's go in. Let me know in the comments if you've been here to the botanical garden. I think it's a very interesting place to come into and it's quite spacious and big. Really set up, you know, for tourists. Let's start from here. So in between the flowers and plants, you know, we have things, Christmas decor and all of that. I'm guessing this is going to light up at night. 
all these I think they're gonna light up at night may or may not but you know it's gonna be beautiful either way so there's a lot of decor here okay this one has lights so this is gonna light up most definitely and the butterflies as well that's beautiful I like the way they made it nice you know in between the plants and flowers they added some artificial decor all these are gonna light up at night I don't know if they're always here or it's for Christmas decor they're gonna light up at night to be very beautiful this is a map of the garden the main entrance the Centennial Garden we've seen that and then the Orchidarium PMC Garden Japanese Tunnel Japanese Garden Korea Garden Chinese Garden Asian Garden Arbor City of Vulcan Friendship Garden yeah Philippine Thailand Friendship Garden Station of the Cross oh I'm so interested in that then we have the greenhouse then the Cordillera Village and then the succulent garden okay all right so they have view decks as well so you are going to check out the view decks i think i've seen one view deck already which is at the you know we're just coming from there so there are three other view decks no one two three four five five others okay that's good let's check it out it's so beautiful I wish I came at night. Well, semi night, like five, between five to seven. <laughs> so you see it when it's bright and when it's getting dark. I always like that view when it's almost getting dark. So I'm gonna come here next time I'm in Baguio. Cause it's a very big place. It's a very big place. I would love to go to all the stations. All the Korean, Japanese, Chinese, everything. Get to see all of them. So you guys that have been here before these butterflies and things are there christmas decor or are they always here i'd like to know is it always here or is this here for the christmas these butterflies they add so much beauty to the place okay so i'm going into a picnic area There is picnic area, there's a souvenir shop over there and then we have the friendship parks there and the PMC botanical park. Okay, so let's go see that. Hmm. Okay, there are tables and chairs here to chill. They have a little bit of the history here. Okay, they have flower tea. You can have tea. 50 pesos. I'm guessing this is also a self-service as well. Beautiful. All right. That was nice. This place is very clean, like spotless. And I like that about it. It's so well maintained. Okay, I can see um, Japanese lamps. <laughs> yeah. So what we have here, PMC Botanical Park. We have the Phil Chinese Friendship Park and the Japanese Tunnel Walk. So let's do that. So you can stop here for a drink, a snack and all. 
It still goes all the way down there. Let's go see it. PMC. Can go in here. So this is a PMC garden. Let's see. Okay, this is details about the plants. All right, so we have some hiking to do here. So it goes all the way in there. I don't know if there's a way out through that side because people are coming back down in here. So let's, let's leave this for now. Let's, use, let's go through up and then probably come back through there. Yep, we're headed to the Japanese tunnel. I'm so interested in that. Okay. So we've seen part of the PMC. <laughs> we've seen the Orchidarium. So the Field Chinese Friendship Park is down that way. And then here is the Japanese tunnel. So let's see this. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's dark. It's dark in there. Are we to go in here? No? Let me see. No one wants to go in. Let me go check. It's too dark. Even my my light is not helping matters. Okay, this ends here. This is this doesn't go in. It ends right there. I'm the only one with the courage to come in here. No one wants to come in. <laughs> okay, it ends here. It doesn't go in. You guys can't see anything. Sorry. My light is not even sufficient to show anything. That's to show you how dark it is here. All right, let's go back. <laughs> At least I was courageous enough to go in. <laughs> so I've seen the Japanese tunnel. <laughs> let's go see some other thing. Nobody wants to go in. They're all like so scared, but it's super, super dark in there. Super dark. All right, let's see the Phil Chinese Friendship Park. So we have this on both sides of the walkway, all the way down. Now on both sides, all the way down. I'm surprised at how many people we have here. Everywhere I've been to in Baguio thus far, there's been massive crowd. I know Baguio is one very like top destination spot here in the philippines and then it is christmas season as well but i'm just like okay because i was told that during the flower festival you know they told me at the hotel that the crowd here in baggy is usually more than christmas because i just wanted to book a room for the flower festival at once you know because i'm going to be here so they were like hi good morning hi <laughs> hi good morning yeah YouTube jackie in philippines yeah are you where are you from here? Where are you from? Pangasinan. Where? Pangasinan Bulacis. Pangasinan Bulacis. Where is that? Uh, Which area? In Luzon. Luzon. Okay, okay. Uh, part of uh, Oh, oh. Okay, cool. Thank you. Everyone tells me they like my hair. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So you're here for the Christmas holiday? Yeah. Okay, when are you going back? Okay, today. Yes. Okay, me too. I'm leaving today. Yeah, I came from Manila. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good Bye. to see you. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, so I was told that 
you know, during the flower festival, that there are more people in Baguio than during Christmas. So I can't wait to like see more people here in Baguio. It's very interesting. Everywhere you go to, there's crowd, you know, everywhere. I think that is a very good thing. So the tourism industry is really booming here in the Philippines. You know, there are some countries where it kind of declines. It's even declining in some places. But here in the Philippines, hospitality, tourism, you know, those industries are ever booming. <laughs> and that's so cool. So we've been to PMC Botanical Park, Japanese Tunnel Walk. We are from there. So San Francisco Bridge. Okay. And uh, this way is um, Taibaik Park, Korea. That's a Korean park. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so this is close to the gate. So let me leave it. If I don't find my way turning back here, I can easily come there. So let's check this side. Okay. This is beautiful. I'm surprised the place is not like cold. I would have imagined that with all the trees here that this place would be colder than it is outside Botanical Garden. But it's not. It's, it feels like it's hotter. But anyway, maybe the time of day as well. We welcome more benefactors to contribute to the beautification of the Baguio Filipino Chinese Friendship Garden. Thank you. All right, so you can contribute. So this project is dedicated to the Filipino and Chinese communities in this beloved city, commemorating the close relations and years of strong bilateral ties between the Republic of the Philippines and the People's Republic of China. Established June 9, 2018. Rats. Okay, rats. People born in the year of the rats are noted for their charm and attraction for the opposite sex. They work hard to achieve their goals, acquire possessions, and are likely to be perfectionist. They are basically thrifty with money. <laughs> rats people are easily angered and love to gossip. Their ambitions are big and they are usually very successful. <laughs> They are most compatible with people born in the years of the dragon, monkey, and ox. So these are the years. So when I was reading it, I was like, are they talking about me until I got to some point? And I'm like, nah, 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 that's not me. So they've actually accommodated even those that are not born yet. My year is not here, so I am safe. <laughs> I wasn't born in the year of the rat. Okay, ox. Okay, this is interesting. So I'm definitely going to find my year here. So this is the ox. And I can see more of them down there. So let's see. Year of the ox. Ox is, um, I'm not here. <laughs> 37, 49, 61, 73, 85, 97, 2009, 2021, 2033, and 2045. So people born in the year of the ox are patient, speak gentle, and inspire confidence in others. I do that. <laughs> they tend, however, to be eccentric, and bigger that and they anger easily oh my goodness they have fierce tempers and although they speak little when they do they are quite eloquent oh ox people are mentally and physically alert generally easy going they can be remarkably stubborn <laughs> hates to fail or be opposed they are compatible with snake rooster and rat people okay noted so let me go check out snake rooster i'm, I'm not rats i'm not ox so we've cancelled these two for me so let's see snake and rooster <laughs> okay there's even tiger and others down there okay so i'm gonna go down to see the others there are many of them but you know i'll still go through them so this is rabbit if i'm to guess maybe I'm, i could fall under rabbit wild guess let's see so rabbits yay i guess right i mean rabbit okay rabbit people are articulate talented and ambitious virtuous reserved and have excellent taste hello that's me <laughs> they are admired trusted and are often financially lucky oh my goodness they're telling my story 
um, they are fond of gossip. No way, no way, no way. I don't gossip at all. But are tactfully and generally kind. They seldom lose their temper. They are clever at business and never go and never back out of a contract. They have the uncanny gift of choosing the right thing. Hello. However, they seldom gamble as they are conservative and wise. Oh my goodness. They are most compatible with sheep, pig, and dog. Okay, so I'm going to look out for these three to see the people are most compatible with sheep, pig, and dog. Where are they? Is rooster? Okay, so here we are. Dog, let's see. Dog people possess the best traits of human nature. They have a deep sense of loyalty, are honest, and inspire other people's confidence because they can keep secrets. Oh my goodness. They are somewhat selfish. Oh my goodness. Terribly stubborn and eccentric. They care little for wealth. Oh my goodness. Yet somehow always seem to have money. They can be cold emotionally. They can find fault with many things and are noted for their sharp tongues. They make good leaders. They are compatible with the horse, tiger, and rabbit. Here is pig. Let's read what they have to say. Pig people are chivalrous and gallant. Yes, whatever they do, they do with all their strength. There is no left or right and there is no retreat. They have tremendous fortitude and great honesty. They don't make many friends, but they make them for life and are extremely loyal. They study a great deal and are generally well informed. They are quick tempered, <laughs> yet they hate arguments and quarreling. They are kind to their loved ones. They are most compatible with rabbits and sheep. Oh my goodness. Yeah, kind of accurate. So let's see sheep. Sheep is what is remaining. Let me see that. I've gone through all the animals. I can't find sheep. I can't find the sheep. Well, it's all right. Let's see some other stuff. This place is so interesting. Like, people are just taking pictures around here. Okay, there's an observation deck here. So let's go up. Let's climb it. Nice view. Beautiful view. Oh, this is nice. I'm so glad I came back. I'm so happy I I made it back here. This is so what they like. It's a very good place to hang out. This is a very good view of the garden. So this is the areas I've been to. I've not been to these areas at all and it looks very eventful. It looks way better than what I've seen already. <laughs> Different colors and things. So we are gonna go there once I'm down from the observation deck. So this is where we've seen already this area. This is just a very small portion that we've seen just here. So we have all of this to see. Interesting. All right. So let's go down. Okay. Which way do we go? Oh, that's a very nice bridge. We gotta make our way down there. The sun is really out and it's so hot. I didn't come with an umbrella. I should have. <laughs> Pictures and things. Everyone's having fun. These are elephants. Yeah. 
okay more for sale so this is another shop where you can buy stuff donation for picture taking okay so if you take pictures here you can drop a donation and these are for sale there are prices here 50 50 50 this is so cool i wish i could buy for our house all the plants we bought died <laughs> I don't know if I should buy some more, given that the other ones did not last. Maybe I should rather learn how to care for them first before I get some more. Maybe I did just know how to care for them and they died. So I think I'm going to learn first and then I'm going to buy more. So my next trip to Baguio, I'm going to buy more of these. Yeah. Lemon pine, anti-mosquito. Nice. They are watering the plants. Wow, this is beautiful. So cute. Gumanella, big bloomers. It's a pink one. And this is red and yellow. The roses. These are so beautiful. <laughs> are these ones for sale? Yes. Wow, they're so fine. How much for each pot? 50. 50 for each pot. That is a very good price. And that is three, four hundred. Yeah, this one. Can they survive indoors? Indoors, no. They're for outdoors. Okay. Indoors, but if you water it, put it outside. You have to okay. put it outside, right? That's the challenge. Because I bought some earlier, but not this type, though. Like things like that, the cactus and the rest, and they died. They didn't survive it because <laughs> they were inside. If cactus is inside, don't water it. Don't ever ever water. It. Oh, she said if cactus is indoors, never water it. So I guess that was where we went wrong. We used to water them. You can water it, but put it outside. Keep when you water it, yeah. you keep it outside. Oh my if goodness. It dries, put it inside. Okay. Then when it dries, we put it inside. So I, you see, I need to learn how to care for plants. <laughs> yeah. I need to learn. That's interesting. Thanks for the info. You've given me some solid info right there. I've learned something. <laughs> okay. So which one do you have is, is perfect for indoors? Like super perfect for indoors? Welcome plants. Yeah. Where are they? The green ones. Those ones in there? Yeah. Okay, they're good for indoors. Okay. How about small ones small for indoors? Uh, Antoriums. Antoriums. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. These are good for the indoors. They like to be hidden in the shaded area. Okay, 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 okay. So that is why they are in the shade, I see. All right. This is so beautiful. Mm. This is fine. 50 pesos something. So beautiful. This is so fine. Moon cactus. Different colors. Have yellow, pink, orange, green. They're so nice. And red. So beautiful. They decorated the flowers. They decorated them. The plants here are so nice and they are very affordable, like 50 pesos per pot, three for a hundred, you know. They are so affordable. So this is a very good place to come buy plants for the house. Wow, just imagine this. This is so well done. So well done. Okay, another place to take pictures. 
So this place is for pictures all around here, you know, places you can just take pictures. This is really beautiful. And then the butterflies over there. But I want to go here to get closer to the elephants. And you know, this area, this um, like the lowest point is so beautiful, full of colorful flowers. So this is really nice. This one is fully green. No colors here, just green. And then over here we have the colors. So this is pink, like a very, is this pink or, or purple? Uh, purple, yeah. And then there's light pink over there. And then we have orange. Let's go close, let's go close to it. Mm, orange, so fine. So beautiful. It's not every day you see orange flowers. <laughs> okay, there are small elephants here and then bigger ones over there. Okay, let's get closer to it. So beautiful. So fine. Mm, nice. <laughs> Almost looks real. This is beautiful. <laughs> so this is the yellow Margarite garden. This is nice. Okay. There's something in here. <laughs> Let me go see her. Sa kamela ang. Kasama ba si Mae dito dati? Ayo kami magkakabate. Okay. Let's see what is here. Okay, just for pictures. I don't think anything is going on in there. Just to sit. People take pictures in there. Okay, it's for pictures. Okay. All right, that, that's beautiful. So there's so much to do here. Those that are into Instagram, Facebook, you know, pictures in general, this is a very good place to come. You're going to take like loads and loads of pictures. <laughs> All right, let's go this way for the bridge. The place is really big, so I may have to come back and explore some more. Even if I've explored everywhere, to be honest, this is one place I would love to come like over and over. So my next trip to Baguio, this is one place I would definitely come to. Okay, nice bridge. <laughs> She's do not pick the flowers keep them beautiful for all visitors to see and enjoy <laughs> the flowers are so beautiful we have red we have very dark pink or burgundy i don't even know then we have orange we have yellow different hues of the colors so nice so beautiful Beautiful, beautiful stuff. <laughs> Let's get that again. Yeah, I love it. I just love this section. It's so cute. Okay, so where we came from is the Thailand Friendship Park. That's where we are coming out from.
city of Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. Proud twin city of Baguio, Philippines. Okay. So they have orange hair. There is um, a dark pink there. Here is orange flowers. And then we have a light pink this other way. And we have statues as well. This place is beautiful. This whole walkway is going to be so nice at night because they have lights, you know, on the walkway. I can't wait to be back here, you know, outside the Christmas season to see how this place is, you know, how it looks when it's not Christmas. <laughs> I'm glad I came. It was quite an experience. So it's going to be on my list of places to come back to on my next visit to Baguio. Okay, so this for sitting. Just chill here and sit when you're tired of walking. <laughs> okay, this right here is the Filipino Chinese Friendship Garden. The Phil Chinese Friendship Garden. I think the Phil Chinese you know, Garden is the biggest, the largest in the whole botanical garden. Like the space that they've taken. And I think it's the most interesting, to be honest. You know, because they have like... Um, all the way up there where they had the animals and all of that you know where i went around reading all those animals and then all this area is part of it so much seating area super nice so this this feels like the most interesting spot well that i've been to because i've not been everywhere yet okay let's read this friendship pavilion commemorating the sister city relationship of baguio city philippines and Hangzhou City, People's Republic of China. This pavilion and marker was constructed by the Filipino Chinese community in Baguio to honor the goodwill ties established on August 13, 1982. Wow, nice. And then they have the sponsors. This project was made possible through the generosity of the following sponsors. Okay, nice stuff. They have their names there. Yeah, I think this, this feel Chinese, you know, is the most interesting in this park that I've seen. Well, in my own opinion. So it's something that when you're here, please don't miss out on this area. It's so beautiful. It starts all the way up there, like all the way up there till down here. And they have the most sitting area from what I've seen, though I've not gone like all around the park yet. But from what I've seen, this sure seems to be the most interesting spot. All right, so let's head to the Korean section. To call it a nice place. Korea Garden. Hmm, I like this. I like this. This is artificial though. I guess it's for the Christmas holiday. Christmas decor. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So it just goes all the way around, right? And then there's a gazebo in the center for people to sit. Okay. And then they're selling stuff here. can get stuff you know refreshment and sit here and have it so that's interesting I love the lamps I always do all right that's how much I can get on this trip to the botanical garden here in Baguio City so I'm going to be back on my next trip to show you some more. I think I've done like half of this place. Or maybe not up to half, I'm guessing. I, I don't think it's up to half. All right, so thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Let me know what I missed. <laughs> so that next time I'm here, I will check it out. So I would, I would really love to read from you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you're new here, please subscribe. And um, give the video a like to show support. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.